I can explain remainders by using place value, understanding, and models. Okay, two friends start a business writing and selling comic books. After one month, they have earned $38. Show how they can share their earnings fairly using $1, $5, $10, and $20 bills. So what information do we know? We know that we have two friends, and after one month, they have earned $38. How can they share their earnings fairly? Well, I can tell you by looking at this right now that it won't be you won't be using any twenty dollar bills because you have two friends. If each one gets a twenty dollar bill, that would be forty dollars. So I can tell you right now you will not use a twenty dollar bill. So go ahead and pause and solve. Okay. Forty one divided by three. What discs will you draw to represent 41? How many equal groups will we divide 41 into? So first of all, what do we need to do? We need to draw the discs. So let's draw our discs. 41, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay. How many equal groups will we divide 41 into? Well, 41 divided by 3, so let's draw our three rectangles down below. 1, 1, 2, 3. Now, I didn't, I didn't go to school for my art, so my boxes are off. I apologize. Now, let's evenly distribute them. 1, 2, Three. We have a little bit of a problem. We have one left in the tens. What are we going to do? Go ahead and pause and talk about what is it that you can do to make this where you can divide it evenly. Okay, we know that one ten is the same as ten ones. Ten ones is the same as one ten. So could I not just cross this out and move ten of them over here? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, when I do my discs, I always like to do a row of five each. Just because that way you can glance at it. I can count by fives. I see I have ten. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and go in and... Distribute evenly. Now, I have two left, and I know I have to go three times total, so I'm going to stop there. So I have one in the tens, three in the ones, and I have a remainder of two at the top. So 13, remainder two. Let's see how that works. 13, remainder two, that would be, let's say... 13 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, I have a remainder of 2, so plus 2, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1, and 4. So my answer is correct. Just remember, when you have an extra 10, you can move it over and exchange it for 10 ones. Okay, so I've started that. This is what we did. We bundled and distributed. We, we didn't really bundle, I guess. We redistributed our 110 and made it for 10 ones.
Okay, that gave us 13. Tell me the quotient. What's the, what's the quotient again? Quotient is an answer to a division problem. And I have the remainder of 2. Okay. Okay. Share 64 as 6 tenths and 4 ones equally among four friends. Okay, so I've drawn the place value chart. I've divided it into fours. And then you're going to tell your partner what happens when we have an extra 10 we can't distribute. Can you think of a real life situation in which you might change a 10 for 10 ones? Let's say I give four students $64 to share equally. Six $10 bills and four $1 bills. I write an equation and draw place value disks to show how to divide the money. So go ahead, see if you can solve that. So finish the chart and then write a division equation to represent this problem. After that, check to see if you're correct. Remember, to check to see if you're correct, you multiply the quotient times the divisor, and that will give you a dividend if you add the remainder to it. Now, in this case, we had two tens left over, so we distribute them over to the ones column, and that gave us 20 ones. So go ahead, solve this problem, and then check your work. Okay, when you divide 94 by 3, there is a remainder of 1. Model this problem with number disks. In the number disk model, how did you show the remainder? So we have 94 divided by 3. And make us draw a place value chart. Hopefully, I have enough space here. Okay, three. And let's see, ninety. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninety-four. One, two, three, four. So divide it by three. And change the color so you can see what I'm doing here. Boom. So, how did you show the remainder? When you divide 94 by 3, there is a remainder of 1. In the number disk model, how did you show the remainder? The remainder That's a little squeaky marker. Okay, the remainder was left in the ones place and not crossed off. Cayman says 94 divided by 3 is 30 with a remainder of 4. His re he reasons it is correct because 3 times 30 plus 4 is 94. What mistake 
did Kaden make to explain how he can correct his work? Look at this. Thirty times three. Well, it says ninety four. So, what's the mistake he made? What would happen if he drew this out on um, place value board? Look and see. I could let me see if I could just do this right. Let's start a new project. There is a problem, but you need to show it on a place value chart. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you. <coughs> okay, the rest of it you should be able to do on your own. There is space down here. I could do that previous problem, but go ahead and do it on your own. It might have something to do with this number and 